Howdy y'all, once again, here is another weekly Rust investing video. Remember, if you want to be updated on my top picks and the Rust item store skins for the week as soon as possible, make sure y'all go join my Discord. I post these updates as soon as I possibly can, and I post my top 3 picks and announcements as soon as possible in order to let you guys know what to invest in. The link will be in the description below, so make sure you go hit that hit it up. And I also make community market updates as soon as possible so y'all can take advantage of the current situation. Like my most recent one on that was like the recent key crash in CSGO. And like I'll, in the future I'll be trying to predict those and like give it, just giving you updates on what's going on so you can make some money off it just like I did buying keys. Anyways, so subscribe if you're interested in those market updates and if you are interested in more Rust investing. Fair warning to all Rust investors is that items are getting more and more long term and profiting off of and oversaturation has been a prevalent issue as a few of you have pointed out to me in the discord and I appreciate all of it, all of like the suggestions and stuff and now let me go over for my investments for the week. There is no certain theme at all this week although I mean it's trying to complete several sets that have already been released. Such as the Azul ones, there's some Loot Leader stuff out there, and the, most importantly, the Playmaker set. And my top pick for the week is Playmaker Kilt because it completes the armor set for the item and the armor has sold for a much higher price overall. Like, just look at this armor, like the clothes kind of just tanked in price. And the armor, as you can see here, uh, went up majorly in value. And if we look at the featured, we can also see it's one of the least bought items besides the Tiki Crossbow and the Cursed Treasure which aren't being bought at all apparently and they're just completely off the front page of the shop. Or well they are being bought but like you know what I mean. Anyway so uh, since it completes this armor set overall and like adds to like the face mask and stuff it contributes to its overall profitability which is uh, pretty important when investing. And I'm also just like quite a fan of the way it looks. It's pretty unique. And like that little video game character I personally like on the side. It's like the smiley face. It reminds me of Bemo from Adventure Time. This may get copyrighted. But yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, the uniqueness and that. And uh, the big factor is that it's the least bought item. So oversaturation may not be an extreme problem on this item. Okay, so my second pick for the week was definitely the Playmaker M249. Oh, let me showcase the Playmaker kill real quick. As you can see it, little character. And my second pick for the week is, like I said, the M249. This is a pretty good looking skin. I find it very appealing overall. And it will only be the fourth skin for the M249 in the game. Like the foreskin ever. Like for example, if we look at the, there's only one, two, three M249 skins, and like this one's the best looking one. And honestly, that doesn't even look like that insane to me. Like quite frankly, it just none of these look that insane. And this is probably like one of the best items or best looking M249 skins that have been released. So that is major bonus for its profitability. And I like, I really like it as an investment, and I'll probably even keep one of these for myself. That's how much I personally like the skin. So if y'all are looking for one to invest in, that's probably a good bet. And since it's really profitable, and or I'm assuming it would be really profitable, but there is still a slight warning on it because it's the second most bought item overall, and oversaturation may tank its value. Finally, my third pick overall is the night sky furnace. It like glows in the dark. You can't really see it in these photos. I don't really know why he wouldn't choose that. But uh, apparently some someone from my Discord said it glue in the dark and like all the other skins have glow in the dark as well. And like if we look at the Steam community market, we can see that they're selling for much more overall than what this is being sold at, which is only a dollar and forty nine cents uh, American USD or not American uh, United States dollar and then these are being sold for like seven dollars and like six dollars which is significantly above that like six times the profit from investing which is pretty good which is pretty good margins for profit and like people are highly attracted to glow in the dark things hence the glory ak the anubis ak 
and all the glowing the dark skins and like weapon skins especially are highly profitable and like uh, the glow in the dark items too it because this is because it provides an advantage over all the normal skins and this is why they are generally more profitable than other items as well if we took a look at the night sky skin theme like i said it's just selling for more overall than they're initially bought for so i think this would be a good investment but oversaturation will probably be a problem all right so they're like this loot leader it's okay like not that great sap is Kind of bad. I didn't even include that. At least selling. At least selling. But my other like selection would have to be the Azul metal stuff. Like overall, like I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. It completes like the armor set, and it'll probably sell for much more than what the road sign stuff is selling for. And I'm not a big fan of the Poseidon LR. Like as you can see, it's being sold for like quite a bit, or it's being sold like a lot are being sold like this tons of them and like I'm not a big fan of the way it looks and like oversaturation is definitely going to play like a major major role in the pro I the value of this item so like if you're looking for a cheap LR skin that looks halfway decent then when this tanks go and buy that because this will not go up in price most do tank initially as well so and items are becoming more and more long term so please keep a uh, keep in mind of that so, um, anyways, moving on, like, I mean, also with the Azul set, the face mask and chest plates are more valued items overall than the pre, uh, than whatever was other release. And the road sign kilt for the Azul set also shot up in price with the release of these things. So that could be an indicator that these things are pretty much more popular, popular than what they seem when shown on the rest item store. And also, and all I can say is that I can't sell, also I can't sell my items for last week yet, so there's no update on that, but I'm still looking for ways to get the most profit possible. If you want details on this, feel free to subscribe and stay updated on what I'm looking on doing and like, like all my potential, like I want to talk to you about it in my Discord, I want to like, I want ideas, like I'll showcase whatever ideas I have in order to turn a profit. So me and you, like whoever's watching this, like we can turn make make some money. Like that's what we're here for, right? Like in, like investing means money. So like, where's my money at? Yeah, I want money. You want money? It's just like let's talk about it. Let's help each let's help each other make some money. And anyways, like always, if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, feel free to drop them below, and I'll happily reply to all of them. Once again, if you learned something, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more. Thank you so very much, and see all y'all later. Sincerely, Drill Blue.